welcome to discover talent friends in this series we are going to cover progress chart okay or maybe uh, we can use this particular interactive smiley quotient chart we can say right in kpis or maybe sla to guess the kpis or maybe sls correct uh, this will give you the opportunity to understand if it is in red amber or green right how we can use it or maybe how interactively you can use it in our dashboard this i am going to cover in this particular series stay with me cool so this is the data set which i have and i am just you know dropping one content on the basis of this particular content so chart will get you know changes or maybe we can see as a interactive way right so this is the data set uh, which i have as a dummy again just go into the insert option first we'll start with one by one step wise okay click on donut when you click on donut you can see this option blank one right this is the blank donut chart which i have right now correct and then right now what i will do i'll just select this click on right and then select data option i'll select the add button right now the carefully observe there are series value is given uh, one or default right you need to add as a whatever values data sets you have right uh, not achieved bad average good best right we have five values so we'll add one as a five times comma five and then press okay you can see the data like this okay i need to remove chart title and uh, this thing as well i'll remove that later on i'll just change the angle first okay and then uh, the whole size for this particular donut cool and then i'll select this particular chart home need to remove this right so i'll just select this and chart title unchecked unchecked this has been removed select this format and then change the weight three point for this particular uh, outlines for my chart and then uh, select this green one click on fill no fill you can see this uh, we are at least 20 percent ahead right uh, for for creating the interactive thingy right now shape will no fill and then no outline so no outline so for my chart I'm just selecting it no outline yes 20% we are done with the work now let's cover the rest of the other part I'll select this particular thing I'll make the color red first okay you can select your color you know as per your convenient uh, I'm just you know giving the example considering the KPIs or business deliverables right on the basis of that I'm just you know giving this example right uh, so you can change color add color as per your convince again okay there is a no force or maybe no harm to you know select this particular color only you can select your own creativity piece I'm a bit uh, low over here folks oh no please disregard me on that uh, but yes, you can definitely recommend me on the comment section uh, what type of color I need to choose it. Yeah, okay. And then I'll just you know make some changes over here. Slider note, and then I'll add over here amber, which is orange. And then I'll keep this gradient as a uh, green. Yeah and then this will be the darkest green so this will give me the pulse 100 percent or maybe 90 percent coverage correct so so far with me uh this is the data i need a supporting column over here this will help me to keep my uh pin uh left or right side so that's the reason i just need this i'll just add this 10 percent uh, is equal to 10 percent plus 20 percent addition so it will get add one by one okay so accordingly my pin will get uh, left to right direction yeah and then if you uh, add like this uh, you can get the error or maybe dot pointers right so just remove those pointers if i don't need that if you need it you can keep that complete your call okay i don't need that so i'll just remove those and then i'll just select this performance score it's an 80 percent right 
now what i will do i'll do a view lookup over here uh, bottom the performance score where i can see the names right uh, it's in a bad average good best okay so that's the reason i need a view lookup correct so i'll just do a b3 comma what is my table array table array is i to k i'll select this and then comma uh, j is my value basically right so i'll select that okay I intentionally kept a K first okay uh, you can disregard that part you can directly select the J okay uh, just not demo purpose I'm just not selecting the poly value K earlier okay now you can see the bad average good best complete your call how you want to portray that right? yeah so let me change this okay and then I'll just change this part to good and then here I'll just select this B3 on the VLOOKUP section so I'll get the uh, accurate number in the column B section you can uh, take a pause on these videos and you no know, parallel you can work on this particular thing so you know, this will help you to understand what exactly we are performing and where we need to uh, be uh, extra cautious while we are adding the data sets uh, in the chart right and then just added the name actual just for my reference to understand what is exactly if you want to add the names you can add it or otherwise you know just chuck it yeah one percent is uh, is for your pin basically on the basis of that it will show you the indicator kind of thing right this will show you the indicator so that's the one percent i have added you can create or uh, maybe increase that weightage complete your call i'll just move this chart over here right hand side and just zoom in uh, i'll just make a is equal to 200 percentage right uh, minus overall B and C whatever amount is there so I'll just minus that from my 200 so this is the overall percentage which I have again I'll point oh oh I'll uh, degrade those okay first let me move this chart I'll just select this data I'll just add the another series <clears throat> which is an actual okay for better explanation I've just added this ensure that you know we are not adding that actual uh, name over here we just need the numbers okay don't do this mistake which i am doing it right now okay let me change it for you i'll just cancel this okay i'll just select this again select data click on add don't add it in the series name as well again okay majority times you know uh, i have seen my students okay uh, those particular folks are doing this particular mistake so that's the reason i'm intentionally doing this thing don't do it remove it just okay press okay you can see uh, two graphs has been added we are almost 50 percent reach to the completion stage right uh, and now the main and you know most important part over here okay carefully observe you know this will be a critical task for you uh, when we are starting or uh, maybe learning this new thing altogether yeah now the second series we have added the second series is basically your blue and the gray part right so just right click that change and then series 2 you need to select that as a pie okay instead of donut you need to select this as a pie click on second accessories and then okay cool you can see the data like this okay so don't worry okay your data is there okay the backend data is there we'll we'll see that how it will be show and then we'll just change the direction first okay 270 let me quickly show you uh, where is your graph which you have already created for the donut one yeah click on the fill when we select the blue uh, chart okay we'll click on blue then first we'll select the blue and then we'll click on that uh, fill button and then we'll select the no fill yeah you can see your graph is in the back end no fill no fill yeah only that uh, indicator is there yeah you can select or you can keep this color as is uh, or maybe you can change that color complete your call uh, but I need to change this because it's not really visible though that is reason I'm you know, changing that I'll clip this as a black one okay this will be uh, giving a 
good good kind of an assign correct let me keep it aside we are almost 75 percent work has been done and now uh, we'll just add the basic shapes over here again this is just a you know, background uh, visualization folks okay this is not uh, really relevant to our chart however this particular background uh, gives a, a good good kind of you know visual appearance for our chart and based on that we can add our overlays on that particular chart so overlay mean uh, meaning basically so the column j right we have not achieved bad average good best right those particular content we can add so whenever our stakeholders can see this particular graph they can understand and hey look so red is basically you are not achieved your uh, green is basically best right so that's the reason i'm just adding this basic shape okay i'm just trying my level best to uh, adjust this uh, allow me some time so i'm just trying my level best to adjust this okay you just make this color black and just make it like this it will give the good good kind of an you know, just make it send it a black word and then i'll do it a now what i will do i'll, I'll add the context over here okay so whatever text are there correct so what it is exactly so i need to add that so what i will do i'll add the text on this so let me uh, search this and then now uh, i'm just adjusting this thing uh, after adjusting on our chart I'm just to you know going into the insert okay and then click on the text correct you will get this text box over here just drag it down and just type uh, not achieved uh, bad average okay one by one correct I'm just to you know parallelly adding this uh, typing this not achieved let me just adjust this and uh, again this uh, particular commentary which i have added not achieved bad average good okay so complete your call as per your business requirement as per your uh, dashboards requirement right what you want to add you can completely modify it um, based on the your requirement right i'm just not trying to adjust this uh, so not achieved is basically i'll get that added on the red uh, right because the we have already mentioned that percentage correct so that's the reason I'm just putting this over here and then I'll just make this adjust uh, ensure that you know while we are adding in the first phase we are just copying and pasting uh, everywhere so this will give the normalized form for font right uh, and that particular font will help us to you know uh, showcase the visual appealing kind of thing right for our respective stakeholders so I'm just put, putting it over here bad and then good average and then so and so forth copying pasting just I'm just pressing the control if nobody knows how to uh, do copy and pasting I'm not doing the control C and control V I'm just now pressing the control button and just dragging it down so it will get the duplicates for the uh, text box yeah this not tip and then now I'm just adding over here as in a best right so this is how I have added the entire thing now what I will do I'll just select this entire thing I'll make this bold okay and uh, yeah this is this is we have done uh, so far correct and now what you can do you now you can hide this uh, content as well while we are representing this just select this format cells as is in a calculation right comma comma semicolon right semicolon three semicolon you will add it uh, this data will get height however data will be there okay uh, just to know it will not visible to others you can see like this correct so this way you can see this uh, representation as in Excel itself right we have just uh, now created the almost we have created the chart right uh, whatever percentage you are changing in the performance score that will automatically get uh, your indicator will show like this okay now we need to add that uh, smiley one right 
तो हाउ वी कैन एड दैट लेट मी ग्रुप दिस फर्स्ट शेफ एंड देन विल क्लिक ऑन द ग्रुप दैट विल कॉन्टेंट विल गेट अ ग्रुप या सो लेट मी एड दैट स्माइली ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन जस्ट हाइड दिट हाइड इट और कीप इट एज इज कम्प्लीट यूर कॉल ओके आई जस्ट हाइड दिस Again, adding this three semicolon, and then when we change this uh, value given over here in the column I, right? That time it will get change as per the indicator. Correct? This is the indicator. If I change so so and so value, this will be uh, good, right? Uh, so so far with me, and then we are eighty percent covered. Uh, I can say twenty percent work is remain, which is our smiley. Yeah. so we are here now and then let me quickly show you how we can add that uh, smiley one yeah go into the insert first just click on basic shape or maybe basic oval right just add that oval over here uh, and then on the basis of that we'll will add this shape and then just make some changes over here setting okay and then no outline okay let me quickly see how it looks like uh, i am not really convinced oh uh, let me change this font uh, i think i selected the wrong color so let me select this black dark black said black yeah bingo i mean uh this is the circle oval shape whatever you call it as yeah i just need this in a background supports that's the reason i just added now let's uh, quickly jump on that smiley one yeah how we can do that okay so i'll uh, as you know right in column k we have the value in place so what i will do i'll just select the uh, value over here and i'll press l okay my l is type over here already but i have just added the semicolon so that's the reason it's not showing now just remove that semicolon uh i'll select the font webdings and weldings okay there are two fonts if you are selecting webdings it will show you like this and if you are selecting the appropriate font okay the carefully observe if you guys are there right uh you need to select the appropriate font okay when we are selecting that particular font correct uh, l means this smiley one yeah wing one and wing dings and here is the font right wing dings and i got my emojis basically sad happy and then this thing right these are my emojis now uh once i have this emojis if i press l i have this uh cry or maybe sad one uh emoji if i press l i have the another one if i press something else i get another one let me quickly show you how i'll do a view look up over here uh select this value and then uh as you know right uh this is in a table structure which is i to l we have this data range so we'll select that particular table on the basis of that whatever performance score we will change in the column a b right that will automatically get redirected into the column m so that's the reason we are doing this we look up function yeah comma uh, column index column index you know right four so four is there and then comma one and then just press this is the j okay so we are good here and then let me change this font again okay again i made the mistake let me change that and then what what type of font it was commented below if you are watching yeah uh if you not let me select this don't worry yeah big links perfect uh let me zoom this if you can correct now uh, the major part conditional formatting so here we need to add a conditional formatting uh, j k okay and the l these are the uh, letters uh, which we are showing or maybe seeing uh, the happy sad and then amused face right so th those particular uh, faces uh, we need to do as a conditional formatting on the basis of that conditional formatting we can add that uh, here uh, so how we can do that okay so let me add the conditional formatting over here okay 
so far with me folks okay uh, if not if any understanding issue feel free to comment in below section okay I'll, I'll help you out and if you in case you need uh, this worksheet okay I am happy to share this worksheet with you yeah you can just write me down uh, or maybe you no know, comment in the uh, YouTube channel okay and uh, I'm happy to share my knowledge with you guys correct so this is the font which I have selected so let me come on this we look up function again the content uh, I am seeing it right now so yeah now I'm just uh, checking if in case any comments uh, you have guys right guys and girls again both you can just share across in the below section completely your call so let's start with the conditional formatting yeah conditional formatting will click on conditional formatting new rule okay and then only cell contains cell contains is yeah only cell contains you need to select this and the second option folks cell values uh, you will uh, need to equals to yeah instead of between ensure that you are selecting this drop down and you are click on the option called equals to okay equals to what equals to your uh, j l or whatever content you want to add so we have j uh, l and m right so we mentioned earlier as well I've just added this bold okay I think L will not really suit because I haven't selected this earlier but let's check okay uh, L will not work okay equals to M L K okay now it's K I'm just keeping this okay now I'll again do the conditional formatting over here self formatting equal to cool now what what is the color color will keep this as a green yeah J perfect so let's copy this yeah click on this link picture and then just copy this and just drag it over let me zoom this bit uh, yeah beautifully done perfect perfect okay so now again l will not work uh, let me show you how why reason why okay see column m you can see uh, data is there okay but it's not reflecting over here why reason behind is uh, we haven't selected this appropriately so let me go into the conditional formatting again okay and let's check uh, if we have added the conditional for this yeah if we haven't then we need to add that condition again okay no harm okay let's take cheesy busy yeah we'll go easy way and then we'll we'll make that changes manage account see jk is there but l is missing hmm? green amber is there always people don't want that red so that's the reason maybe we have missed that intent yeah jokes apart anyways uh l i've added l and then format bold and then red uh okay okay and then we'll press okay you can take a screenshot if needed yeah uh, and then press okay cool i'll just uh, drag it down and then just press again and bingo it's working now yeah I'll just change this percentage some 95 you can see this emoji is working cool I think we are done with this part and uh, thank you so very much for your valuable time folks uh, please stay tuned and uh, watch the more productivity tips from discover talent happy uh, learning day thanks Take care.